well, let's see what fresh new horrors await me in further into this uh, ancient future science facility of doom. Surely it won't be anything bad, right? This guy knows. Also, I still don't have access to my sword, so it's still just gun. Blood Edge? Wait, that's the name of my sword? Is Blood Edge? That's... That feels a bit too edgy for Eve. It's called the Blood Edge. Oh, duh. I mean, well, that's hyper edgy. What's this? Explosive shells. That... There's either a battle room or a boss arena, and either way, I can only gun it. Lights are red. I have a bad feeling. Yeah, you do? No, don't make this a laser room. There's a bunch of slugs everywhere. Yep. Oh, damn. We're stuck. How do we fix this? Can I shoot something down? Excuse me. We're closed. Oh, jeez. I can't parry. I can't guard. Pass through the lasers without a single scratch. I need to aim properly. Safe on this side still. Wait, is this area becoming smaller? The lasers are closing in. The slow mo on every kill is a bit much. Oh, I made it. That wasn't nearly as bad as initially assumed. I'm sorry. How long have you been there? Alright, I'm leaving. Uh. Just for this button? Elevator should work now. There's an elevator in there. Who hides an elevator behind a laser room? What's the design here? Also, how did all those guys filter out from there? Where did they all come from? That's one way to warm up for a session. Oh, wow. Is that just There's contamination here right there? Now. There should be a weakness. I mean... Yeah, I'm literally two feet from the last one. I feel like this isn't necessary, but I'll take it. I think I found the weaknesses. Wait, I missed. The railing is literally in the way. Are you alive? I mean, I guess you were. Oh, well. Let me just restock. Why is this not at every one of these? It really should be. And again, it's just comically convenient how in the place I can only use my gun, they give me an ammo restock so readily. Good, no puzzle. I'm busy, sir. I'm looting. Could you not? Where did you even come from? I know you're out there. Probably gonna ambush me. Is advancing here. I need your passcode for that one. It's closed. We have to look for a security code. This is open. I'm just waiting for something to jump out at me. I just know it. I can't scan either. I feel like I'm even more vulnerable to jump scares. There's a the code. Uh. Yeah. My brain is not processing the grid right now. Drone upgrade. I'm gonna go back then. I feel like that's not progress. This is just a secret. Try entering the code. 
This is Moo. Why am I not remembering what this is? This isn't new. I don't remember what this is. Failing my Greek. Lambda. Uh, alpha. Mu. And then... Whatever this one was again. Why am I not remembering that letter? Worked. Is this progress? That might be progress. Hold on. Then what lies in the open path? Unless that door doesn't work. Oh, it's a blocked path. Once again, finding the correct path. That's a lot of ammo for stuff that I don't need to pick up. Yeah, this is just a dead end. You need to go through the password door. It was, in fact, the way forward. Well, at least I solved it. It's not like it was difficult. Into the air vents. We're just in a totally different genre right now. This is... I feel like we're in system shock. Hard to control the drone. Are you telling me I can't fire in this situation? Oh, I see. Come on, let's get out of here. I understood what needed to be done. What's up here? Don't tell me I can't unlock it. Just open it, please. Thank you. I was nervous for a second. Just playing music as I pick up stuff. Alright. That more ammo. That is more stinger ammo. Eve, climb down the ladder, please. Thank you. Hello, sir. Thank you, sir. What? I guess I'm full on ammo. Hi there. Hang on. I see you down there. Oh. No one better show up behind me. I probably could have blaster cell to laser through the whole thing. That would have been neat. Oh well. It is clunky that I have to pull up the gun in order to use or swap ammo. And again, left and right of the D-pad just aren't used, which I noticed. Could just swap ammo there. There we go. Had to focus. One of the randomized ones. But this should be worth it then, right? Because it was super random? No. It gave me potions that I barely get a chance to use, and some nano element, I guess? Eve, clamp the ladder. Eve, clamp the How How are you so bad at climbing ladders, Eve? Sometimes you can't get off the ladder, and other times you just won't figure out how the ladder works. A supply cap is here as well. Oh, boy. Uh, let's take a breath, anyway. Aim, aim, Eve. I'm standing there trying to aim and it's just not aiming. Like, I don't understand what the problem was. Ooh, tumble expansion. Like, I don't... I'm standing here and... Eve does not want to aim up. What? I'm literally hitting the button and it's just... Oh, now I can do it quickly. That's so weird. Like, I'm... One, two, three. I hit it three times before I was allowed to do it after climbing up. It's so unresponsive. It's absurd. Seriously, that should be in every single one of these camps. Can I make new clothes? I need one more. 
four more heals. And I'm still missing one armor bolt for another gear. Uh, I don't... I'm missing one to get the next clothing. Eh. Ah. As for drone upgrades, though, uh... I mean, I can't use the scanner right now, but... Now that I am feeling the effect of scanner duration, it would be nice. However... Bullets. And then, do I have... I have one point. That's, like, not enough for anything. Anything else I need to pick up here? I have more than enough potions, so... I can pick up slugs. I have grenades that I keep forgetting I have. I'm generally just weird about consumables, though. Like, bullets are one thing, but... Like, I'm gonna forget to use, uh... What, what was I saying? Ah, uh, right, um... Can I... I don't want to drop down there. Uh... Decides. Or up. Up is fine, too. Am I gonna have to fight this with just the gun? Or... Well, here we go. That looks extremely explosive. There's a bunch of dudes stuck inside of that thing. Heart of the infection, huh? Be careful. Unblockable. Yeah, I can't block anyway. This is a Resident Evil boss. I can't dodge that way. Wait a minute. Oh, God, laser. And I can't run back further. Okay. Oh, that's great. I like that. Not you. Pull out the gun. Swap to something better. Ooh, hi there. All right, the auto-aiming at the enemy that I'm not trying to shoot, not helpful. Oh, jeez. Nope, nope, down here. All right, the aim assist is a little too strong. This is very clunky. Finish it. There we go. You gonna explode next? He's got a bunch of explodey guys inside you and on top of you and throughout you. Oh, I'm just gonna fade. Okay. Look, it's a hyperdrive. Oh, yeah, I need one of these, didn't I? Actually, this is exactly why I came here, wasn't it? Because we knew there's one here. Ooh, weapon core! We need one of these in order to, uh... Power up... Uh... Oracle. There we go. Altus Lavoir. Where am I going to store this? Status is good. Great. Be careful with it now. You should head back. I'll have the pod waiting for you once you go outside. Huh? Wait. Ooh, what's this? There's, there's a legacy here. Who? Legacy? What's that? It's a device with records left by the airborne squad before me. Ooh. They leave important information for the next airborne squad. I see. But... Why would an airborne squad come all the way here? Maybe they knew something about the Alpha or the Elder. I'll check the legacy. Tap into the memories. Or is it just like a holocron? It's a holocron. Day eight after the second dive. Third record. Legacy account Raven. Remaining survivors Ripley and Anis. Anis is in a bad condition. 
death is very likely at this rate. We discovered this laboratory 4.47 kilometers from the drop-off point. It seems to be a facility that studied Natibas, but it's hard to obtain accurate information due to severe contamination. It's very contaminated. However, I discovered an astonishing fact while searching through the data. Before the war we call the final war, there was another war. That's implied, yes. It was a war fought between humanity and the androids humanity had themselves created. The so-called Andro-Ados. Humans lost the war against their own creation. The few humans who did survive hid in underground facilities, but the hunt was far from over. However, an unexpected factor turned the tide of the war. With mankind at the verge of extinction, Natiba's powerful creatures from an unknown origin appeared out of nowhere. How unknown? The war with the Natibas brought about the destruction of the androids. And so, during this time, mankind was able to make its escape to the colony. From now on, I plan to investigate the origin of Natibas. Hopefully, at the origin point, I should find the Elder Natiba. To anyone who may be watching, may Mother Spear's blessings be with you. I hope I get to meet you later, Raven. You look cool. I didn't think a record like this existed. And there was another big war before the final war. That's what final kind of implies, yes. I never learned about anything like that at the colony. What do you think, Adam? The history of mankind is riddled with conflict. It's hardly a surprise to hear about wars before the final war. See, Adam knows. Even so, it's strange that this wasn't passed down. I'll retrieve the legacy and go back. Wait a moment, Eve. I can pick you up with the tetrapod. Oh, good. Okay, I'll be waiting. Because it means I don't have to walk all the way back. Or even fast travel. I can just be done. Oh, they even warped me all the way back out here. Excellent. Perfect. I fought some crazy stuff in there. You wouldn't even believe. Okay. Want to take the test again? Can, can I? No, no, I cannot. Uh, hang on. I got another gear. Oh, another beta charge gear. Ooh, it's a two-star. I could stack them if I really wanted. I don't. Hey, can I get... Uh, speed gear, two-star? Or even three-star? That'd be great. Can I have multiple? Just pump everything into speed. I only have that one. Um, oh, right, I need to go check out that. I can come back to it. Because it's all the way out here. I can just warp over there later. Otherwise, main mission. Well, I could warp over now and then come back to the main mission. That's pretty much the only other thing, right? Yeah. Well, let me let me talk. See if I can not get warped immediately. Tell me if you need anything. Oh, I can just access you as a repair console. Excellent. Give me level 5. Sweet. Uh, I have enough for this one now. And that's the only other thing I have. So. Swap to that. Yes. Very nice. Now let me pull a rabbit out of my hat. Oh wait, I'm wearing the rabbit tail as well. Never mind. You did great, Eve. Shall we go back to Zion? Not yet. Is there anything else you have to do? Yes. You wanna go do it? Did I cross that bridge before? Did I have crossed that bridge before? I don't feel like I could have. Huh. Oh, wait. That's there. You open from the other side, that's why. Ugh. 
That's probably how we get up there. All right, uh, first, that's it. And now I have to remember how to parry, because it's been a minute since I've needed to do that. It's been all gun for a while. Let's just go through the phone. All right, so do I have to climb the tower again, or do I talk to the bots by climbing the tower, I suppose? There it is. Oh, it's good to have scan back. Oh, there are bodies now. Was that always there? Wait. Where is that body? Once again, was that always there? Well, I guess it was. I can't give up now. I give up now. My comrades' sacrifices. They'll all mean nothing. If I can just get to the solar tower. Congrats, you made it. I don't think you succeeded at what you were trying to do, but you made it. So, you know, good job. That's Network access code confirmed. one. For this data to really remain. I don't like it, but I guess a favor is a favor. Wait. What else do I do here? Are there more that I have to find elsewhere? Because I just have the one. Uh, spread throughout Zion, the Wasteland, and the Great Desert. Oh! Oh, it's three areas in general. I have to go back to Zion anyway. And I don't have access to a Great Desert. I have access to this desert. We have two desert areas? Alright. Glad I grabbed that then, because... Now I really have less reason to come back. Now, I could just warp back to Zion. But I'm gonna warp back to my friends to warp back to Zion. Because... I know it feels right to... Progress the plot with the plot. I don't know, I'm just weird. But Andro Eidos. So, robo people compared to humans, probably organic humans. You did great, Eve. Shall we go? Let's go. Let's get on board. There was a human robo war. Always was. Skynet took over. It is how it is written to happen. Despite all the movies, all the prophesizing, it is inevitable, apparently. I feel like that was a really heavy landing. But I guess if the shocks can handle it. Now what? Present chamber. Oh right, I gotta give the battery. What say you? Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. I got quested. Oh, I can select. Oh, I can go back to 807. Cool. Not right now. I have quest to turn in. I have a lot of quests to turn in. Oh yeah, didn't I see one of those down there? One of the terminals for Robo Friend? Say robo friend, everyone I've met is a robot, but he's a robot robo friend as opposed to human robo friend. You have a marker. Hello. Oh, you're back. I am. Did you meet them? What happened? I'm afraid they are all dead. Oh yeah. <clears throat> no way. I think so a powerful Natiba took them by surprise. I dealt with it. Yeah, sorry. Your comrades did not stand a chance against a monster like that. I barely stood a chance. I see. My apologies, Angel. I've been hoping for their safe return ever since I lost contact with them. Understandable. I'll report to the captain. Thank you for retrieving their memories. 
I'm sorry. It's been an honor to help those brave warriors. So, as long as we have their memories, aren't they basically still, like, for all intents and purposes, alive? Ooh, wow, that was a lot of stuff. Because, like, for all the other um, people that are stored inside the memory thing, is that not basically the same thing? They've been removed from their bodies? They're effectively dead? Or am I reading that the wrong way? Because that's what it feels like. If I retrieve their memories, then it's basically the same. And then I can just plug them in to revive them? Aha, there is a vending machine here. No? Doesn't work? No, fresh mesh doesn't want to give me anything. Can I collect the thing in here already? Oh, there's a book. Oh, the last, the lost 72 years, three. The Natibas defeated us, and so some remained on the surface, and some returned to the colony, under orders from the Mother Sphere. We don't know how she decided who, dis who stayed and who left. Those who returned to the colony are often called Heaven's Royalty, and became subjects of hatred. But as I wrote before, Mother Sphere is nothing more than an aggregation of knowledge and will. She doesn't favor one over the other. Everything she does is based on rationality alone. This may come as difficult to accept for some people, but that is another matter. We all face hardships here on the surface. Strife and envy drove citizens to hate those who returned to the colony. This much is clear. Citizens of Zion hate those who return to the colony because they believe they have been deprived of a life of comfort in the colony. After all, the colony is free of constant threats. But I can't help, my, uh, help myself but wonder, is colony really the paradise they think it is? Literally, they've been drawn into the kingdom of heaven as opposed to everyone else who gets to live on this surface of hell. I see the blatant themes you're putting down. There's nothing back here. No. Who left the fish to cook? I'm gonna burn it. I'm gonna set the whole place on fire. Oh, there's a nano element there. An extreme nano element. And that's it, I'm just knocking stuff over. Okay, I didn't kick you that far. Come on now. Calm down. Uh, I have to find over anything here? No. I have to see posters, vending machines, because vending machines give cans. Or nothing. Or have been lied to. Or that's just not one of the vending machines that gives me anything. But I can kick it, apparently. Wait, did I see anything? Ah, poster. Look at this crazy guy. What we got? Are you dimwit still believing in Mother Sphere? I'm Pierre, a citizen of Zion. Recently, I've come to pity those boneheads who still believe that Mother Sphere will save us all. If you truly believe it, then how come you don't even know what Mother Sphere actually is? May we find salvation. The phrase that we are all familiar with. Right. You numbskulls think Mother Sphere will save you from this hellhole? For she does not lie. You are dead wrong. When she said we, it doesn't mean you and me. It means humankind as an entire species. And my salvation and yours won't do crap for the salvation of mankind. Mother Sphere knows us, but she does not remember us. There's no need. As long as our species prevails, you and I are considered expendables. I might come off as a bit offensive, and I hope so, because I'm more offended by your religious babbling about Mother Sphere. You should all stop wasting time. Grab a flashlight, a wrench, a rifle, scavenge for resources, fix our infrastructure, and fight our enemies to ensure our survival. I mean, I don't like how he's saying it, but I don't think he's entirely wrong. Granted, I'm completely unfamiliar with anything from uh, Mother Sphere, despite the fact that I, as Eve, uh, is from up there. Oh, I can't access this one. What? Who is it? A real angel? Huh? I've only heard about them in rooms. I'm literally right here. It's nothing to do with me. Can you leave? I have nothing to sell you. Sure. I need an extra cell here. Where would I find one? Like, I can't assume I'll just find one out in the wastes and bring it here, because usually those are required for puzzles and whatnot. 
it's got to be somewhere around here, right? Curse the Heaven's Royalty. Oh, I just read about this. Decades have passed since the final war, but we still suffer in this cesspit of monsters and sandstorms called the surface. Mother's fear promised us salvation. She did not keep her promise. Did she ever send us an evacuation shuttle or a rescue team? Mother's fear does not lie. This means that there's another mastermind behind this injustice, and we all know who they are. I curse the Heaven's Royalty. Judgment be upon those who hide in the colony, laughing at us for our misery. They deserve to be nowhere but in hell, for they twisted Mother Sphere's will. I don't... You give them a lot of credit. As if they have control over that. See, now is when you start sounding like a crazy person. Already got that. Grab that. Wait, is that a ladder? That is not a ladder. That is... Struts. Donuts! And beer. Looks like a good time to me. Machine? Aha! Kick. There we go. Mountain Sparker Mont Blanc. Sounds refreshing. Anyway, there should be a terminal down below. This is fenced in. Ow, I didn't actually get hurt. Can I open this now? Am I allowed? No. Anyway, yeah, I remember seeing this. Access. Alright, that's two. One more in the Great Desert. Who are you? Uh, oh yeah, I got your thing, right? Kaya. Oh, uh, Angel. Hello. What brings you here this time? I found your bike stuff. Kaya, this is the trunk, right? The bike isn't salvageable. It's too badly damaged. Oh, that's fine. The trunk is much more important to me. It, it's just, it belonged to my sister. When I first lost it, I didn't know what to do. I thought I'd never see it again. I can't believe you found it. You're amazing, Angel. I have a name. It's nothing. I'm sure you'll help me later on anyway. If you ever need help again, let me know. Yes, Angel. Did you have another quest? Because when I went to the shop, or saw the thing, the shop had a quest marker. I have so much SP right now. Kaya, is your shop called Sister's Junk? Oh yeah, what happened to your sister? Oh, did you see the sign? Yes. Well, not anymore. But it's not like I can just change the name. No, that's... I'm sorry. That was thoughtless of me. It's alright. My sister. She's alive out there. I know it. That's optimistic. She'll be back soon. I have faith. Shop. Uh, why are you telling about Affinity again? I've done this two other times now. Uh, oh, you have a mind map copy. Okay. You have a bunch of stuff. You have a beta recovery gear. Do you have a speed gear? Shield penetration. Perfect combat. Ah, attack power when HP is high. Okay, so that's the opposite of the uh, danger gear. Risk the, the risk taking, yes. Uh, protection. Shield enhancement. Combat supply. Uh, recovers HP when defeating an enemy. Oh, that's cool. Not really great for bosses, but, you know, longevity. Uh, bonus SP EXP acquisition. This is bonus SP EXP. Is that just regular experience points? Gold. Double edge. That's not quite fair. Enemies have way more health than I do, but I'm going to take a quarter times more damage and only deal 15% more? That's not... That doesn't balance out. I already die in like three hits. Why would I die in two when I still have to... When it cuts down from like 20 hits down to 19. That's not... No. <laughs> no. There's no speed gear. Everything here is level 2, but there's no speed gear. I should buy things though, so that to level up affinity. Then I can get speed gears. Uh, let me get another one of these. Or not another one, but it says available 0. That's not what that... That shouldn't be available, that should be 
owned. That that needs to be not phrased that way. Because 15 is how much I have and not how many are available in the shop. It's not how you use that word. Uh, I mean, there's only... Well, there's limited qualities of all of these. I mean, more shield would be cool, too. Not going to use it, but... This one probably would be helpful. I might want to slot that in at some point. Oh, why do you give me nothing? You give me, like, no affinity for that one. Uh, It just says increases shield penetration, but I don't actually know what that is. Is that shield breaking, or is that damage going through the shield? Like, does it ignore damage reduction from shields? You're not actually explaining it to me. Uh, get the experience up. I'll get the money up. Man, Kaya, do you just not want to be my friend? Take one of these. Oh, that's big up. Okay, I don't understand these values then. Uh, I can buy a lot of those. I don't need a lot of those, but let's buy a couple. Just to have potions in stock. There we go. That's what I want. Now, what else do you have? What's new? Become good friends? She's ready to tell you her secret. You're always welcome to come visit if you feel like talking. Maybe I'll have something interesting to share with you. Fusion light. Oh, neat earrings. Turquoise hoops. Oh, those are fancy. Tens of thousands of turquoise monomolecular scales. Sundrop. Tears that have been shed by the sun, so bright and clear. Eh, not really. These are nice. Grab these. Okay, so apparently the Bitcoin purchase give me next to nothing. So let's spend oodles of cash on these. I need to spend more cash, apparently. I need more. There we go. And I still have plenty of money. What do you got? I'm lucky I get to see you so often, Angel. Radial Pendulum, Black Rectangle. Wow, that is indeed a Black Rectangle, huh? Huh. I was kind of hoping for, you know, more gears and not cosmetics. But okay. Goodbye, Angel. Do you have a quest for me now? Again, for shopping at Sister's Junk. You said something about secrets. Well, thank you for your help. Farewell, Kaya. Secrets? Angel, business has been much better lately, thanks to you. If my sister was here to help, we would be much better stocked. Well, I hope I can find her. I understand. I have someone who is almost like a sister to me. Is it tacky? Sister sounds like a smart businesswoman. My sister's name is Kara. Kara, she's strong and decisive. So I believe she's out there. Somewhere. Here's hoping. She has to be. Oh, request. Oh, never mind. Fine. Goodbye, and thank you. Well, thank you for your farewell. Alright, what are the things that I have to turn in here? There's the main quest there. There's that, and then I have to turn in the board. Let's see, do I remember my way around again? The answer is no. It's been a while since I've been in the city. Ooh. Oh, boy. Is it more tabloid? Oh, you bet it is. The Truth Article 2. The Raphael Report. Secret internal Eidos Company documents obtained by this paper and published for the first time. The plan to control the media. The Raphael Report. Led by CEO Raphael Marx. Are the journalists who kept quiet about the Eidos Company on the list? Did they yield to the threats? Administrations from several different countries were involved. Revealed through testimony by several eyewitnesses. Panopticon to dominate the world economy after the new Cold War. The time of corporate liberalism is upon us. 
An exclusive report from our reporter, Quinn. Only in The Truth. Doesn't actually tell me about the thing, but okay. Alright. Oh yeah, were these vending machines accessible? Any of them? No? This facility is in need of repairs. Yeah, at least this one works though. The one in the weights didn't. It should Able to complete. Found your brother. He's been executed. It's unfortunate that I have to deliver the bad news. It would have been nice to clear up the misunderstanding. Uh misunderstanding, huh? Let's see. My everything. My beloved son was killed by Natibas in the Wasteland Great Canyon a while ago. I have nothing else to live for. I can't close my eyes without seeing those monsters that killed my son. The monsters that killed my son are called Hedge Boars. Anyone, please kill ten of them. Oh, good. Number hunting quest. I beg you, avenge the death of my son. Yeah, eventually. I can't just let this pass. I, yeah, I guess. Look, you know the good stuff, right? Those little drops that twinkle all green? Shh, those oracle jerks can't find out about this. I know it's forbidden, but so what if, you know, while I'm overclocking my brain, it, uh, fizzles or goes totally kaput? Oh, or whatever. Anyway, why do you have to get in our way like this? We need a little bit of happiness to survive this godforsaken wasteland, don't we? If you bring me some drops, I'll give you a crazy reward. But don't get caught, got it? I don't really know what you're asking for. Overclocking the brain? That sounds intense, to say the least. Oh! <laughs> Wait. What do you mean, refused? No, but what if I wanted to do it? <laughs> Eve? I didn't even choose that! I left my cargo behind in the middle of the scrap planes in the wasteland because of a damn Natiba. I still can't move my left leg, so I'm putting out a request for someone to get it back for me. The cargo contains parts that are needed to maintain and repair the cradle. It can be found in the oral storage facility in the, cra the scrap planes. I've been there. Where is the scrap planes oil storage facility? <laughs> I can't believe she refused this. A bulletin? All right then. Wow. I guess it didn't actually tell me what to get, but oh well. Uh, right, the barber shop. Near Tomer, like, let me try out some fancy mind, uh, what exactly was it again? Some virus? Oh, I passed good for this. Oh, oh, this is the locker! Alpha, Zeta, Alpha, Zeta, Alpha, Zeta. It's just nano element. And this. Oh, okay. Aaron's journal. I've been hiding every day near the Exile's Passage so I can keep an eye on Arkle's schemes. Shockingly, I saw them capture live Natibas and bring them back to Zion in the dead of night before sunrise. That crazy old man is capturing the Natibas to terrorize the citizens. It's too bad that they didn't leave any evidence. Any proof would have been scrubbed clean in a way already. I can't prove what I saw. But above all, Rail, the guard keeping watch, spotted me. I managed to get away without getting injured, but I'm sure Oracle's beasts will come for me. I'm finished. I can't bear to see the evil deeds of Oracle and his guards. If I'm caught, my sister will be left all alone. What will happen to her? As a free citizen, I made up my mind to protect my freedom first. And any opportunity, oh, an opportunity to fix my mistake will arise. Maybe something better will happen if this record falls into the right hands. Praise the Zion Freedom Liberation Alliance. Well, yeah, not much to go with there. Huh. Nothing I can kick. I mean, I can kick those, but not what I was looking for. Well, yeah, he's dead. Like, super dead. Uh. Oh, right. I can talk to Lily about fixing Robo Singer Lady. Is there anything down here? Have I been here? I can't wall jump. I tried. Let's get all the way back over there. 
Excuse me. Wait, there's a ladder here. I haven't been here, have I? What's down here? Well, hello. There's nothing here at the moment. Huh. Well, I found it, so I guess I'll check back in case something decides to show up. Weird, that's just there. It's clearly going to become relevant later. Because you can't just put all that there and have nothing. But, yeah. Sort of just there. Alright, Lily, help. This is not faster than it's running. Help, quest. I got the stuff. To distribute the power of the hypercell. Huh? I didn't know you were next to me. I am. Do you like new clothes? Where's the presence chamber already? No. Lily, preparations are complete. All right then. We're good to go. Let's go. Would you mind bringing the patient here while I prepare for the process? I don't know if she can move. I'll bring her right now. Maybe she can. Oh, there we go. I can't tell if that's supposed to be like a bird-like head or a pompadour. Whew. I did everything I could. It's not perfect, but the patient should be in much better shape now. It is interesting she keeps referring to her as a patient, which I guess she is, but... Sue, are you there? She's speaking! I... I can feel you. Enya, are you alright? Enya. Yes. Your hands. They're very warm. It's been so long. Enya. Eve. You know who I am? starting to come back to me. You helped me. I would like to repay your kindness, but I don't have anything to offer. Also, Lily's there. She helped a lot. The thing I can do is sing. Your song is more than enough. Also, you should be thanking Lily. There we go. Not me. She's the one who really saved you. <laughs> cool. I have so many points right now. And so many items. Hang on, let me buy things. Uh, I could pretty much clear out the rest of this tree, huh? Get that. Uh, get this. Why can't I get double jump yet? You know, I'm seeing something here that I didn't see before. Yeah, so this is regarding burst energy, which I can't use. But Chain Reflection here uses Red Gauge, which I don't have. And so do these. These use Red Gauge. It's not it uses three blue. It uses three red. So... Yeah, I need to get a new gauge, I guess. But it's also inside this... Uh, well... I'm assuming that next to Beta, there's going to be Burst. With a set of skills for that. And then... These will also consume... Red energy. I don't know what this other one will be then though. Because if there's going to be a burst skill tree. I don't know what this skill tree is going to be. Or you know. Vice versa. Either way there's two skill trees I haven't seen yet. Multi assassinate. Get energy. I am now done with the attack tree. In entirely. Entirety. And I can't get anything until I get burst meter. So I guess we're just getting these. I should make this cheaper. That takes five. I guess it's not quite cheaper. It's it gives a refund. What is Oh, it's the can collection! Ah, Eve. Did you bring me the can? I brought a lot of cans. I've made all the preparations already. Preparations? 
Voila! I picked up some stuff I found lying around, and I put together a cabinet. Brilliant retro Honestly, collection. It would be good to store your cans here. Is it refrigerated? Storage and display at the same time. Not bad. That is what a shelf is. Hey, I'm telling you, Lily Artemis always gets the job done. <laughs> oh, I get rewards for collecting cans. Oh, this just became a lot more worth it, huh? Cool. <laughs> they just modeled a whole bunch of... Not even. They modeled one can and put different textures over each one. Are... These are real brands, right? You know, I don't know if they are real brands. They could be. That'd be really cool. Reminds me of collecting the uh, advertising posters in uh, Akiba's Trip. Although a lot of those stores are now defunct, so they're, they're obsolete posters. But, you know, this is neat. They just made a whole bunch of these. Oh, it was you, wasn't it? This was the one that was the stupid uh, trial. Well, now I can carry... What was it? I can carry more items of some sort. I can carry more... Ah, more lingering potions. Don't know why I didn't fill it there. And more shock grenades, which, you know, if I remember to use those. Anyway, anything else going on? Any more quests? Uh, just the one guy. Yes, that's right. I'm going to give back the hairdresser equipment. And then maybe spend money on that, get some new hairstyles. Don't know how it's going to work, though, when the ponytail seems to be, you know, kind of integral to Eve's functionality. It's where she stores her sword. Unless you can change the ponytail, too? I don't know. I suppose we'll see. Also, are there any more vending machines around? Like, here. The liquor store. I don't have the code for this, do I? Nope. Alright, that's another one I can attempt to open eventually. Some of those are breakable. Uh... You are right here. Right, this is the store. Hello, sir. Huh. I guess those weren't just empty words. No, they were not. I never thought you'd really help me. Thank you. Now will you style my hair? Please don't make it dull. <laughs> Oof. I guess that really got under your skin. <laughs> no, it got under her hair. That's the problem. Shall I begin? I thought we were focusing on the hair. Not that I'm complaining. Hmm. Yeah, it's just gonna be the bangs, because the ponytail has to stay with the uh, weapon ring on there. Let's see. Planet Diving Tail. But the tail's always gonna be there. A daughter's memories, a style that Kasim gave his daughter. One could say it's bring with mem brimming with memories. Kasim's Choice. Ooh, I like that. That looks cute. The cutest. I'd say it is very standard, yes. Princess of Zion. It is, I guess. Uh, oh, I gotta pay Polymer for that, for some of these. Oh, it takes extreme. Ah, uh, it takes extreme for the newer ones, except this one. Uh, oh, wow. It braids into a hairband. That's neat. Oh, I'm going to need this one with an outfit that matches. I'm going to need it. This, as soon as I get a nice gothic outfit, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hatsukoi. This is very much, how does the braid crown work? Oh, I guess it connects there into the ponytail. But I feel like it'd be a little painful considering you have to, like, shove the ring onto the braid. <laughs> Katana, huh? Alright. I like the hair over the eye. Well, the glasses didn't really work out too, too well. Valentine. 
I do like the braid on the side. Kasim's signature. I feel like this is just putting a hair clip on. Vacation. Not my style. Actually, it's really jarring to have the hair cut like this and then have the ponytail. It... It doesn't really match. And then... Originative. The most unique hairstyle ever. I don't know about that. It is nice, though. I mean, I can't actually get anything else. I can only just get this one. But... So you can go brown. Light brown, which isn't terribly noticeable. Uh... uh blonde? Or red. Ooh, the red actually looks really nice. And I will say, typically, I'm not really a huge fan of red. But... Yeah, let's go with that here. Perfect. You like what you see? Yes, actually. I guess this is very bland, huh? Very straightforward. But at the same time, compared to like... I guess this isn't bland. But it is still on the, uh, plainer side. I do like the fluffy. I do like the fluffy a lot. Especially the fluffy with the blue. Oh, man. And this one, it's funny. All the others start, like, like default brown or black. And this one's just like, nah, purple. And immediately I'm like, perfect. That's all I need. I need to go find ten more extreme polymer material. Well, how do you like it? Quite nice, actually. I'm not sure. I think I... Adam, what do you think? Oops, skipped your accent. I... Uh, I don't know. Don't ask me. You could have put a bit more effort into a line read, my guy. I don't know. I don't know if it's... Is it the voice actor? Is it the voice direction? Or a terrible combination of both? Because Adam is not very convincing at all. Alright, I tried to talk to you before. You weren't happy. Let me kick this. Can I get a can? I can! Alright. Machinetta Americano. There's a red up there. Uh. Ha! Mm, is this here? Oh, I picked this up. No, I didn't. I just didn't register. Oh, plastic hearts. Where are you going? Don't leave me behind, please. Hello, my little treasure. Glorious Mother Sphere. Why did you teach me how to open my birdcage? I'm sorry, what is going on? I see, then. Please, touch me one last time. Live well without me. Safely. Peacefully. Got you. Now I'm never going to let you go. Pallas, don't do this. This is all your fault. The failing pump. The respirator, my sad heart, all of it. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Connect to me, like the day we first met. Like the time I was enraptured in the dark of night. How passionate. I don't know what the story is about. I guess I didn't buy the other books either. I'm missing like, three volumes. And I've only been able to see... I picked up one, I picked up a second one there. And then there have been two others that I could potentially buy anyway yeah the quest marker just moved up which is weird it really doesn't need to move up just direct me to the presence chamber I, I know how to get there kind of plus if you really need to direct me the map is right there that's it I want to find vending machines anything in here no Any back alley vending machines I missed? Alright, I wasn't allowed to go back here. Later. Oh, poster. Keep calm and trust us. I feel like it's not too convincing. Attention citizens! We have recently discovered that a certain organization is at large, which insults the Prophet Oracle's reputation and spreads falsified rumors about the Sentinels. Please be informed that this organization's claim is not true. Citizens of Zion, do not be swayed by malicious instigators and put your trust in us. We, the Sentinels, promise to protect Zion's peace with our lives. Sentinel Captain Man. I feel like Captain Man just sounds like a parody name. Like, I understand he is 
quite literally big dog on campus, but his name is also Captain Man. Aha! Another fizz machine. Yeah! Behemoth Red. Oh, that is a beastly looking energy drink. I would drink that. Also, there's like four vending machines that have given me stuff in the town. I managed to miss them all before. Oh, are you another one? No, this one doesn't have a slot to kick open. Yeah, I noticed that they have, like... Uh, not you. Yeah, this one has a little thing where the can can come out. These don't have anything, but I can apparently kick them anyway. Nothing in here. Uh, let's go back down to the bar. Now that she's all fixed. Hi. It's the angel. It is me. Don't bother me. Mind your own business. Okay, fine. Does this do anything? Just stare at it. It is neat. Can I play? No, just stare at it too. Why is the golf machine broken? It's out of order. Hole in one tournament golf. Fix it. Lily, can you fix that? I can sit down and listen. Oh, that heals me. Apparently just sitting down heals me. So why can't I sit down anywhere else? Why does it have to be a specific chair? How you doing? Ah, uh, hello. Eve, are you here to listen to me sing? I know it's not much. I'm checking up on you, yeah? It's just nice to see that you're doing all right. Her singing did stop when I started the conversation. Oh. Eve, I suppose you're leaving. Goodbye. All right. Take care now. So, do you want to have normal legs again? Because I feel like it's a little inconvenient. Also, where's uh Sue? Did I straight up stop her from- Oh, oh never mind. She's singing again. All is right. I don't suppose there's a uh, vending machine in here I missed? All right, I'll see you later. Anything else? Oh, can I pick this one up? Is it the same? It looks the same. Oh, right. You. Um, you exist in this room. This is... It's honestly really terrifying. Hi. Forgive me. All right, Jet. Yeah, he's, uh, got some things to work through. Wait, did I see a shiny on the ground? Nope. No, it was just this blue book? Box? Whatever. There should be more posters around also. But I missed the highlights to pick those up as well. Oh, hey. Here you are. You're Sue, right? Angel, welcome to Memory Plaza. Thank you. This... Is a sacred place. Yes, it must be protected at all times. So, what brings you here? I'm here to see Oracle. Are you leaving? Yeah. Anytime you need something, feel free to come back. All right. Thank you. Well, at least I get along with him because I've done him a huge favor. So, that's good. Uh, is that a machine I see over there? Poster. I already have that. Uh, anything up there? Either she didn't want to climb it or I can't climb it. Kick! Can obtained. Caramel Macchiato. You have anything? Apparently not. Aha! Which story are you? The Zion One. The memory tower, a facility to commemorate the memories of those who have been lost. A week of mourning has been declared to mark the tower's completion. All citizens must pay their respects. I've, you probably shouldn't require that of people. Just saying. 
The Sentinels have announced that the maintenance on Memory Square has been completed, and there are plans to resume transit. The Memory Tower has become operational as a result of this maintenance. The Memory Tower prevents data corruption in Memory Sticks, and can store memories semi-permanently, so that memory data will be transferred to the colony on the Day of Salvation. Is that a guarantee, or is that what you're hoping for? The Prophet Oracle declared a week of mourning, stating, On such a blessed day, rather than rejoicing at the thought of returning to space, we must pay tribute to those who have gone before us. Zion is a city built on the backs of many. We must remember the courage, devotion, and sacrifice of those who departed before us. We look forward to your active participation in the week of mourning. You mean my required participation? I feel like you really shouldn't- Ooh! Force people. What is this? Mother Sphere Prayer. Takes a while to load these. Prayer and Beating Guide. Let us pray, brothers and sisters. May we find salvation, Mother Sphere said. It was the most beautiful thing she said, and we all must cherish it. A long time has passed since the final war, and our only hope is her prophecy in this filth-ridden surface, crawling with blasphemous natibas. Our faith prevails. It will endure, it will stand, it will not go astray. For she does not lie. I feel like the she should be capitalized considering they're treating her as a deity. We will find our place in space soon. Pray, my good family. Peace be with all my brothers and sisters who come to visit. For more inquiries, find Francis in the bookshop, next to the Zion entrance. Alright. 